Well, being a mom means sleepless nights, but it shouldn't mean an empty bank account. New, stud sh new studies are showing that the pay gap gets even wider once women start having children. So this Mother's Day, financial expert Fred Kreutzer is here with some financial advice for moms. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day, Thank first off. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So You're what welcome. can we do to help ourselves? Well, first off, when we start having children, women actually show that they a, ch a, a mom with the ch first child mm -hmm. takes 15% less than a woman with no children. So there's a pay gap there. Now that said, does not mean women don't work. The average mom, we actually calculate it, works 98 hours a week. So you could appreciate moms do everything. You got that right. <laughs> All right. But you have some advice. And the first is take control. Take control. Make sure you're involved in the retirement process. Just because you're so busy raising the children and you're doing everything around that house doesn't mean you don't get involved and understand what your spouse is doing with their 401k, making sure that you're still contributing to your 401k or IRAs. And even if you're a stay-at-home mom, your spouse can actually put up to 5500 bucks away into your IRA. So they can still contribute to mom who's a stay-at-home mom as well. You got that right. And then building on the retirement, you're talking about just making sure that you are still making sure that you are putting money away. Yes, still contribute. You're the mom. Even if you're working a part-time because mm -hmm. you're raising your children, make sure you're still a contributory towards that retirement goal as well. All right, don't be afraid to put yourself first. That's right. Moms, we have a bad problem doing that. We're <laughs> nurturers. We take care of everybody else. But mom's got to also look out for myself. Right. We can't be giving our children, once they're 21, 22 years of age, still paying their growth grocery bills, still paying their rent. Moms got to take care of themselves, make sure they're going to be okay. Because what about moms? Well, women in general is they live five years longer than us guys. So women, we got to think about that. We've got to make sure we're going to be okay in the long run. Well, and that goes along with looking at your social security too, when to take those benefits. Yes. And that's a big thing that people always misconnect is a lot of times, sadly, women are the CEOs of the house, but they let the spouses usually run the finances. Be involved in that. Don't take things out early. It might be detrimental to you because that's Social Security. If I take it at 62 and three quarters of women do that, they may not have enough money later in life because we're going to live longer. All right. And a lot of moms already know this because a lot of moms are the CEOs and the CFOs yes, of their house too. That's for sure. All right, Fred, thank you so much. Really thank appreciate you. it. Stay